everyone, Mike Doloff. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer at Inflow Communications. I have with me Travis Dillard, our President and CEO. Say hi, Travis. Hi, Travis. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. I know you too well. Um, this is picking up on part two of our series we're doing, which I think is interesting. I'm seeing a lot of buzz about this kind of topic all the time. It feels like there's a battle that rages around remote versus in-office employees. So Inflow, fully remote company. Travis started the company or really took the company on 10 years ago or so, we, like we recapped last time. We won't get into the history part, but where I want to spend some time today is focusing on one piece of building a remote company, managing a remote company, and that's collaboration. Not ever, no one in our company is in a single space together, pretty much. So how do you collaborate? And so Travis, with that, as you, this has evolved over the last couple of years, what role does technology play in collaboration for inflow communications? Uh, absolutely critical role. I mean, you know, we're going to get into culture and, and measurements and KPIs and things like that later. But without the, without the tech stack, I, I truly believe that obviously without – Without the technology we have available today, you know, we would be we'd be in brick and mortar offices. Everybody would be, and and so it's absolutely critical. I mean, our our technology evolved over time. Obviously, we're a unified communications company, so we do have an advantage. We are kind of in the front seat of of knowing what's coming down the pipe. Um, and uh, but yeah, I mean, it started off with um, your your basic collaboration tools, right? Shared calendar, <laughs> um, email, and um, you know. Uh, file central file server and, and you know and a voice over IP system with soft phones and mostly IP hard phones at everybody's house um, and then some sort of video solution which has been a bit clunky and has evolved over time you know um, and I, I guess you know you can you can we've, we've gone from there to where we're at now right um, there's I think probably one of the most important critical collaboration tools that have come out really since we started is is the likes of like slack um, in Microsoft Teams, and um, we we were on Slack, love Slack. Um, we're now actually on Ring Central Blip because we're we do a lot with the Ring Central world, which is the same thing. It's basically the ability to have um, messaging channels. I can do you know um, one to many, one to one messaging. I can you know, and it can show up on their desktop, show up on their on their mobile phone with a click of a button. I can I can escalate that to a voice call, regardless of where I'm at. Um, I can escalate that to a video call. I can do um, document sharing immediately. We can collaborate on a document together. Um, and, um, and you know, what we found, and this ties back into culture, which we'll talk about in another session, is that the slack and the glip has become absolutely critical to our culture. So you have um, different channels. We'll have the culture channel. We'll have uh, fantasy football channels. We'll have the, um, the general channel. We'll have wind bells. We'll have... Um, you know, the steps challenge channel and all the things that people do and with, with the emojis and the pictures and, you know, and, and the things that you have, it's yeah. become, well, you, you know, it's become a huge part of our culture. And you have totally. people that are working on an island. You have people that, you know, we have over 50 employees working from their homes. And so that becomes a really important component, you know. Um, and then obviously what we're doing right here, video. I mean, we, we use um, Ring Video and we, we couldn't, we couldn't function without video because there's something to be said for looking at somebody and seeing their, you know, their, their body language. And um, so within seconds, I can be messaging somebody. We can promote it to a video. We can talk. We can shout our desktop. And we use thousands and thousands of minutes of video. We have video that goes on that I think is up probably 24 hours a day where you have people that are, are our engineers and technicians are jumping on. They call it the conference room or the water cooler or something funny like that where they jump on and ask questions. So they're 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 you know they're they're glipping or slacking over here and then and then they jump on a video call over here, um, and then jump back on the phone with the customer, um, and 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 so uh, yeah, technology without that we we wouldn't function at all. And it, and it's almost it's almost like you set this technology up, but it really just starts to grow organically and how people use it and how people interact and and how people collaborate. It's, it's to me it's absolutely. I mean I'm 42. So, you know, we have, we have employees that are a lot younger than, than, than I am. Um, and it's almost like second nature to them, right? You know, it's like gaming. They're talking to someone, they're gaming. They have two different games going on. Not, not at work, but it's the same sort of philosophy on, on how, these, how these people are, are using this technology. And to me, it's fascinating to just sit back and watch how it um, infiltrates. In, infiltr uh, how it infiltrates. Thank you. Uh, infiltr <laughs> infiltrates. Yep. 
our company and how, how people use it. And, um, and it really channels start growing organically and communication methodologies start growing organically. And it just people leverage the technology to work for them. And it's, it's pretty exciting. Really cool. Yeah. It's, um, it's hard to imagine work without some of these modalities really at this point in time, right? I mean, it's just hard. It'd be hard to function to be dispersed across the world and have immediate connection and interaction with other coworkers to collaborate on something, to, um, to, to laugh, to cry, to, to high five each other virtually um, as you're working through projects and things like that. So pretty powerful, pretty amazing. Yeah. And it just becomes a part of the fabric of the company. Well, that too. And I, and I, I had on a just high level, but mobility too. I mean, we have people traveling yeah. all over the country, all over the world, implementing systems and working with customers and, and, you know, with Wi-Fi on airplanes and I mean, you've, people, you're, you're connected and absolutely so much more productive these days than we've yeah. ever been with a brick and mortar building, walking into an office and, um, you know, and losing half a day of productivity with people swinging by your office and, you know, having coffee breaks and such. It's fascinating. Yeah. Fantastic. Great insights, Travis. Thank you for sharing them with us. Look forward to future conversations uh, probably next week, talking a little bit more about some of the other training um, training metrics and other areas where uh, building and, and managing a remote company have interesting um, challenges and scenarios. So thanks for the time. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, you too.